Today, we're at the Aussie Grind. That's right, it's an Australian coffee shop. Or so you thought it was just a coffee shop. Man, the Aussie Grind is so much more than just a coffee shop. Let me explain after this. That's right, welcome back to Brick Eats. I'm your host, Brian Brickman, and today, like I said, we are at the Aussie Grind. It is what I thought was just a coffee shop off of Preston Road in between John Hickman and Warren Parkway. I don't know a whole lot about it, but on their about page, it just said they're from Australia, and they wanted to share their Australian food with, with Texans and kind of blend it together. Man, they've got everything, dude. They've got breakfast. Man, and the breakfast menu looks sick, right? They've got lunch served all day. They've got a dinner menu. They've got, I mean, it's a full restaurant. Now, it's itty bitty, but I would contend that smaller restaurants are usually better because they're special. But they've got coffee, they've got tea, they've got drinks, they've got mixed drinks, they've got beer. They've got, but, uh, who, look at these desserts, man. They have chocolate chip banana bread. Who doesn't want chocolate chip banana bread? Man, why did I even get that? I gotta go back there. I'm gonna go there for breakfast. I mean, I can't even, I can't even handle the fact this place has been open for like two or three years and I've never been here. Well, you know what today? Today. Oh, I've heard about this. Somebody told me about this. I said, Brian, how come you've never had a burger from the Aussie Grind? I said, they got burgers at the Aussie Grind? How the hell did I not know about that? I don't even know what's going on anymore. I feel like the last two years have been a dream sequence. Anyway, I got the burger. Okay, we open this bad boy up. Look at that presentation. Oh my God, look at that bun. Ooh, wee and fries. Their burger, it's a beef burger, and it comes with cheddar, romaine, pickles, and a house chutney. Now, chutney just sounds Australian, right? I guess. Maybe. Uh, but I also, they said, do you want an ossified? I said, ossified? How do you ossify a burger? Well, as it turns out, to ossify a burger, you add fried egg, beetroot, and pineapple. I've had eggs on burger. I don't know what the hell beetroot is. It doesn't sound good. Um, and pineapple. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it works. We're gonna find out. I, the only thing I know about Australia is what I learned on Crocodile Dundee, so we're gonna see how this goes. Oh, sh Look at that. Oh my God, look at this thing. Holy cow, it's got, we even stabbed it. Oh man, it is. Wow, it is greasy. Oh, look at these. We got pickles and uh, the lettuce. God, I can't even look. There's some. Oh, there's a beet. Oh God, I'm gonna die. I don't know about this beet thing. All right, we gotta eat this thing before it falls apart. <laughs> that was cheese. <laughs> I was scared. I was like, I don't know what that is. All right, here we go. You ready? There's a pineapple in the box. Look at that grilled pineapple. Oh my God. I've been on the grilled pineapple. Mmm. Damn. Ah. Oh no. Oh, the egg broke. Egg broke. Oh, it's going down my hand. Oh, man. Dude, you gotta get the yolk. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Oh, I'm not betting on both sides. Mm. Mm. Okay. First of all, with all this stuff on it, you would think it would overpower the patty. But this is really good. I'm hitting that pineapple. Oh, uh, and that pineapple is weird, but I'm kind of digging it. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know about this beetroot. See it hanging off the side over here? I was kind of hoping it fell into the box. <laughs> I would have to try. Okay, you know what? You know what? I owe it to you, the Aussie Grime, and myself to try the beetroot. Okay. Beetroot is not as bad as I thought it'd be. I don't think I'd get it again. But, it's kind of fun having an ossified burger. Look at that, man. Look at that there. Look at all that purple from that beet. Good nut. Oh no. Oh, it's another pineapple. Mmm. This burger is a mess though. Look at that. I think a good burger should be a mess. But I would highly recommend getting this and eating there. And I'd highly recommend reservations. I don't know if they take reservations, but this place is small, man. And they have like a 90 minute max time for dinner. So you can't just go in there like you're at Starbucks and sit there all freaking day taking up a seat. 
And I like that. Mm, damn, this is actually really, really good. Like, the beef is really, really good. I mean, it's cooked all the way through. I didn't, they didn't ask how I want it cooked, but I didn't tell them. There's no paint, which is okay with me. I'm okay with that. It's not well. It's not done well, like cooked well done. It's good, though. See, it's still got a lot of juices. It's still got a lot of flavor. I love having an egg on a burger. Mm, egg on burger is the bomb. This beat is weird, man. I'm telling you, this is really good. Though. This is a, like everything about this is really cool because it is a good burger and it's a great bun. This bun is fresh and yummy, and the egg on there is awesome. But this, every <laughs> once in a while, you get a hit of this pineapple or this beetroot, and it, it just trips me out, man. It's just like, I don't know, I guess that's, if that's what they do in Australia, then. Bring it, baby. Every time I bite the pineapple, it's shocking. It's really good, though. Well, I gotta tell you, I really like it. On the good, better, best scale, I would put this at, at, at right at between better and best. Right, right, right in the middle, right on the line. This is really good. It is really, really, really good. I think you should try it. I think it's unique. It's interesting. It's fun. Hey, who doesn't like Australia? There's a heavy pepper flavor on this burger pie, and I'm loving it because it's so crazy. So it's like this heavy pepper flavor offset by that beetroot and pineapple and an egg. It's a trip, man. This is, this is unique. This is fun. I think you should go. Bonzi Grind, Preston Road, Frisco, Texas. That's right. And over here by uh, Academy Sporting Goods. Hit it, baby. I is Brick Eat approved. I like it. Should have more Australian food in our lives. Anyway, that's it for me. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate you, and I hope you have a wonderful new year. And until next time, keep eating Australian cheeseburgers, and we'll see you.